Hello Libras. This is your mid-month review. See what's going on with you guys. Taking you on through the end of the month. Taking you on out of here into February, okay? My Libras. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal, you can find out um, whatever information you are seeking on my website. That's below the video, okay? Get my napkin out of the way. <laughs> All right, my Libras. We're going to do a Celtic cross here, okay, guys? Let's see. The energy that's around you is the Empress. Beautiful. Let's see what is challenging you. The devil. Hmm. Let's see what the issue is here. The King of Swords. What was going on with you guys in the past? It's the High Priestess. And the best possible outcome, we have the Hierophant. Wow, okay. Mostly majors here. A lot of shifts going on with you guys. Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. Hmm. Six of Swords. <clears throat> Let's see how you view yourself. What do you think about yourself currently? What's going on? Seven of Cups. Let's see what's your outside influence here. Hmm. King of Cups. Okay. And then your hopes that flipped over here is the Four of Swords. In your fears, we have huh, the lovers. And your overall outcome is death. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So the energy that's around you is the Empress. Um, I think that you are you are um you're you're wanting to get to a point where you're good i feel on your own um you just want to take care of your family um and you're trying to grow as a person is what i'm getting from this this is what's going on around you you're just trying to grow as a person you're trying to just get every aspect of your life um to a place where you are comfortable you know and i think you know you're being challenged to actually face your fears um whatever is holding you back from becoming what it is that you truly see for yourself in the future um i think that there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you're trying to um you're trying to reckon with here Okay, I think you are somebody that's very mothering, very loving. There is real growth and potential here within you. But in order to really expand and to realize that growth, there is a need to face things that you really don't like about yourself, even other people. You know, and, and accepting that there are certain things that, you know, other people may do or you may do that's inside of you that, you know, you may necessarily not be comfortable with. Okay. So let's see how you're view viewing yourself here. I think that um, there's a lot of illusion um, that you're confused about a lot of things here. Okay, I think that um, things are not as clear cut as you would like for them to be. You're, you're kind of in this state of confusion. Okay, now what the issue is here is I feel like there's there's this person um, could be you, but I feel like there is there is an individual here that you feel is. Um, almost mocking you somebody that uh, antagonizes you somebody that's not very emotional you don't really feel like they use a lot of emotion when they make decisions or even when they speak how they engage with you and I think that is why um, you're just trying to 
you're really just trying to be good um, within yourself, like in your own personal life, regardless of someone else, regardless how somebody treats you, just knowing, you know, being clear on how you engage with somebody, who you engage with even, um, how somebody is actually behaving with you has no bearing on, you know, how you really are or have influence over the things that you do. Okay. Has nothing to do with your worth, you know, how this person is. And so I think there is a need for you to, um, your challenge is to recognize that, you know, everybody that um, comes across like they may be good for you, maybe not, you know, and to realize that things, people are different. Um, and, you know, everybody's not for you. Everybody is not for your best, you know, your higher good. Okay. So what was going on in the past is I think that, you know, <clears throat> you were trying to follow your heart, trying to follow your, your intuition. But I think there was something about, um, you know, this person that you neglected to see or that you kind of like, you kind of push down, um, you kind of went against your, your better judgment is what I'm getting is that you went against your better judgment that you did not, um, you know, listen to your intuition. Okay. And your intuition is very strong. Okay. So the best possible outcome is that whatever it is that you believe to be true, just to, to listen to your gut. To stick to what you know to be right for you. This is standing in your own truth. And regardless of what anybody else feels, you know, this is this is you just doing what you feel is right here. Okay. Now, what's coming towards you is the six of swords or the six of knowledge this is knowing when to you know leave things behind basically using your using your intellect to know when you know this is really not good for me this energy is not good for me this devil energy is not good for me this person is not good for me this situation is not good for me and just like just leaving just walking away okay using your intuition, listening to your intuition, listening to what you know is right, the standards that you have for yourself, and um, using that knowledge to just walk away from things um, and go towards things that are more suitable for you. Okay? So what your outside influence is, is this king of water. Any water sign cancer scorpio pisces um but strongly scorpio energy i feel is here um this is somebody that i feel like is very um they're not emotionally stable okay i feel like this person can either be one way or another like to one extreme or another either they're very aloof or but they feel a lot you they just don't show it that type of person or either they are on 10 like overreacting to things and you know of that nature but i feel like this is somebody that um that loves you but I don't think they really know how to show it because you see how this guy, you know, he has his head turned to the side, but his eyes are looking forward. It's like they love you. They just don't know how to show it. Um, they may come off as like aloof, but they really do have all of these strong feelings inside is what I'm getting here. Okay. So, you know, maybe, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with, but I think this is centering around 
um, a Scorpio energy here. And I think this person is what has you confused. They may have air in their chart. And this may be how you actually view them as a king of swords. Because, you know, they do not show a lot of emotion, even though they feel these emotions. So this may be the same person here that's got you quite confused. Like you felt like they liked you or they loved you or whatever. But it's like, you know, it's, it's got you questioning things, I feel. Okay. So in your hopes, you just want to get over um, the hurt. You want to get over the confusion. You want to get over the the bickering, the arguing, whatever disappointments you feel he felt here um, with this devil energy. You just kind of want to be done with it. And um, I think you're just kind of taking the time out or you're wanting to take the time out to just kind of recuperate. To just say, you know what, you know, it is what it is and just be done with it. And you just move on for, from it. Okay. Your fear is that I'm thinking that you won't find um, somebody that you can share your life with. Somebody that really vibes with you um, that's on the same accord. You know, somebody that you can live like this calm existence with. You know, it's not a lot of back and forth. You trying to figure out, you know, what it is that they want or, you know, what it is that they want from you even or what they need or somebody that you have to always tell what you need. You want like this, this harmony, this harmonious relationship with someone, I feel. Okay. Now in your overall outcome. Um, we have death here again Scorpio card. So I strongly feel like this individual that is in your influence here. Um, I think that this not only is the situation ending with this person because you just cannot take the you cannot take this this devil energy. Um, you're trying to repel that. So you are putting an end to this situation. But at the same time, I feel this is also a rebirth. Okay? So I feel like this Scorpio energy is really trying to um, change up some things. I think they are very well aware um, of their behavior. And I think, you know, they are wanting to change because this person, I do feel, um, my Libra friends, loves you. Okay, does not have to be a Scorpio, but you know, just take the situation as it resonates for you. It's just the energy that I see present, guys. Okay, so I will speak with you soon.